Serena Williams is a professional tennis player and a top ranker in women's tennis. She holds the maximum number of Grand Slam titles and is a four-time Olympic gold medalist. Serena is also famous for her colorful and stylish tennis outfits. She has said she wants girls to know they can be serious athletes and still like dressing up. She wants to see more girls in sports. In honor of Serena Williams, let's draw her tennis racket and ball. For this project, I have two pieces of white paper as well as a colored background paper, a pencil, glue stick, scissors, as well as markers and crayons. On the first piece of white paper, I'm gonna draw her tennis racket. That's what she uses to hit the ball. So I'm gonna start with an oval that takes up most of my paper, but there's still a little bit at the bottom. And now I'm gonna draw with my pencil a straight line all the way down. Now you can see I'm kind of curving, I'm going around the side and I'm adding these curved lines and then I'm gonna draw a rectangle at the bottom. That's the basic shape of the tennis racket. Now I'm gonna use a black marker or crayon and I'm gonna outline the oval with those curved lines that go down to connect to the rectangle. I'm gonna outline the rectangle and then I'm going to draw a big oval inside, so following the line kind of like before. And I'm going to go up and connect my oval. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this kind of like a triangle with rounded corners. Now I'm going to make a bunch of vertical lines inside that oval. This is where the ball gets hit, so there's a bunch of these like really strong plastic, it's like almost like a rope, and that has a lot of bounce to it, so when she hits the ball, it goes really far and it's really hard. I would not want to be on the other end of Serena Williams when she's serving tennis balls. That would be so scary, but also really cool. Now I am drawing horizontal lines, which means they go side to side. And I'm gonna fill up my tennis racket with those. Last thing, I'm adding some short little curved lines to the side of my handle because it gets wrapped around with this like padded tape that makes it easier for Serena to grip her racket. Grip means to hold on to really tight. Now, I'm gonna color the racket in. I'm only gonna color the outside rim of the racket and the handle. So pick your favorite colors. Remember, they can be bright and colorful. You can be bright and colorful and still be a serious athlete. Or not a serious athlete. You can also play sports just for fun because it's something you really like doing. That is great too. Now, you can cut out your racket. If you don't have another piece of paper, like a blue background paper, you may not wanna cut your racket out. You can just glue the ball onto this paper. So it really depends on what you have. Remember, be flexible, Make it work, you guys. You can be creative and think about ways to problem solve if you don't have all of the exact materials. But if you do, practice your best cutting. All right, it looks like this. I'm on to my second piece of paper. I'm going to make my tennis ball. So I have a circle tracer. This is pretty small, just a cup you have. And I'm going to now draw two long vertical lines on the side. They should not go through the circle. Time to color in, fill in my tennis ball. I'm starting with that black marker again and I'm gonna go around the circle. Then I'm gonna draw kind of like a double rainbow. 
So I'm gonna draw my first curved line on one side and then another curved line next to it, but not overlapping. I'm drawing the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna use a yellow green, so that like lime green, light green, depends what you call it. And I'm gonna color everything except for the inside of those curved lines. So those stay white, just like a tennis ball. Pause here while you work on that. When you are ready, cut out your tennis ball and cut along those two lines we drew earlier so that you have two strips of paper. You'll see in a second. Ta-da, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna create what is gonna make our tennis ball really pop up. So I have my glue and I'm gonna glue my two strips of paper together like an L shape. Now see how that top one is on top? I'm gonna go over on the horizontal line and I'm gonna keep flipping them back and forth rotating. This may take some help, so if you need help, find a guardian, find an older brother, sister, maybe your dog knows how to do it. I'm just kidding, but find some help or do your very best. That's okay too. For this last fold, I'm gonna add my second bit of glue just so that it all stays together. And look at that, guys we have got this like accordion that's gonna make our tennis ball pop up. So starting with my tennis racket, what we first drew, I'm gonna go around with the glue just on the edges and I'm gonna position it so that it fits on my background paper. Now I'm gonna take my little accordion pop up, attach it to my tennis ball and then the other side, I'm gonna add more glue and I'm gonna fit it kind of off to the side but still on so that it looks like it's headed towards Serena Williams' tennis racket. All right, with a black marker, I'm just gonna add some movement lines so it really looks like it's heading towards the racket. And now I'm just gonna fill my empty space because I feel like since Serena Williams really loves color and being playful, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the background of my ten Serena Williams tennis racket. So there you go, you guys. You can either follow along with the same little movements or fill it up, or you may decide that that's not something you want. Those are choices you get to make as the artist. All right, you guys, there you go. Serena Williams inspired tennis racket and tennis ball. Have fun.